Prominent Dominican-American author Juno Diaz stepped down as a chairman of the Pulitzer Board Thursday after allegations of assault. The Pulitzer Prize winner is known for his writings on the Latino American experience. Look, man, uh, white people didn't just materialize in this hemisphere. Right. You know, all these folks, if you're not indigenous, you're part of this thing that we call immigration and not wanting to recognize it not only erases the bloody history of why we're here, but also is so, uh, such a rank attack on the communities that have really powered this nation. Diaz recently wrote in The New Yorker about being raped as a child and how dealing with that traumatic experience hurt the many women he dated. But after the story's publication, writer Zinzi Clemens accused Diaz of forcibly kissing her several years ago. On Twitter, she wrote, I was an unknown wide-eyed 26-year-old, and he used it as an opportunity to corner and forcibly kiss me. I'm far from the only one he's done this to. Other female authors have since stepped forward to accuse Diaz of verbal abuse and misconduct. Following the allegations, Diaz released a statement saying he intended to take the responsibility for his past. This conversation is important and must continue. I'm listening to and learning from women's stories in this essential and overdue cultural movement. While Diaz stepped down as the Pulitzer board chairman, he'll continue to be part of the board. MIT, where Diaz teaches, is reportedly investigating the allegations as well. Even though admirers of Diaz's work have shared their disappointment, one writer says these allegations mean even more to the Latino community. As members of an underrepresented group, we celebrate the success stories in our communities. He might become just another fallen idol in the literary world, but for Latinx readers who look up to him, his betrayal feels so much more personal, like a Tio who let us down. This year's Nobel Prize in Literature will be postponed for the first time in nearly 80 years due to an ongoing sexual harassment scandal.